an analog. Let's see. Oh, yeah, yeah. I gotta have two monitors in this room. Hi. <coughs> okay, more painting. More painting. Oh, forgot my mouse. Gotta have a mouse. So I can see what people are saying if anybody joins. All right, Doc. Chat. There we go. Good. All right. So, do some square bills. Do some square bills. Four square bills. Yeah. What are we talking about? I need more water. <laughs> need more water. That's cleaner. There's water. Maybe. I can't smell diddly squat. Yeah, it's water. <laughs> All right, let's do this. All right, square bill, square bill, square bill. I already taped them off. I'm gonna do make these really bright. All right, I'm gonna do bright braids. I'm going to do a white base. That's what we're going to do. Let's pull you out. Stick it on the lip. Get a little lippy. Bam. And bam. All right. Kayak, <laughs> how are you? So I've been really busy. Look at this. It's crazy busy. See all those? <laughs> so I started selling on whatnot, which I had never heard about before. But uh, that's a viewer who turned me on to do it. And and I um, been selling my baits on whatnot under terrible fishing. I don't know why the word at didn't go in there. Maybe it was too long. Maybe it was too long of a title. And uh, but what I, you know, with this, we have to change the uh, my needle on this. I have to go back to a two. And because this is a this is a one, this is a fine. We did some really small baits yesterday, so I'm gonna have to change this out. And make it make this a one. There's my ah, there they are. Nice and clean, stick that in there. Keep my nozzle. And that together. So we got this. We'll go to a two. Pretty sure this is my two. Just 
stick it in there, but it got sort of stuck. There we go. That's a two. They are marked. You know, the uh, everything's marked with little. How do you call it? Little dashes. <laughs> Make sure it's nice and clean. Usually clean them pretty good, but I don't want to put it all together, put paint in it, and then find out it's got a clog. Okay. We're good. You're not? I'm sorry, buddy. Yeah, the weather's been terrible here. Just got over a cold. And, uh, but, trying to get warmer water. But, warmer water's going to take a while, I do believe. I'm sorry that you're not doing well. I really am. All right, we are going white. White base on all these, because I really want to really pop them. Stir briskly. <laughs> All right. There we go. All right. Do a tack coat. Really light. Dry that up. Alright. 
you go with a uh, golden yellow. I don't know, probably can't see that because that light's so bright. Golden yellow. I'm going to put that on the bottom half of these baits. Shake this baby up really good. And I'm going with red. On the top half. That's what I'm doing. And it's going to be sort of a crop. This crop over. Stripes. Mix vigorously. bit of red in here, or yellow, which is good, because I'm going to add red to it, not much, because red is a very powerful color, put uh, three drops in there, three drops, mix, uh, mix vigorously. Three drops is a lot, but I really want more of a red on top too. Less of an orange and more of a red, so working it. It is a beautiful color right now. Look at that. It's a beautiful color in there. Mix vigorously. Yellow out and get that 
that orange red. There we go. All right. just a little bit of black to this red. I want a sort of a blood red up on top. Hey, Robert. Yeah, I don't get better. <laughs> I don't get better. Still a little congested. That cold sort of sticks around. But we are much better. I just need the weather to clear up. And so we can get some warmer water. Just a little bit of black, too thick, wetness, but I want sort of a blood red up on top. Don't want a lot of black in there. Just want to darken that red, get it sort of a blood red. And that's what I want. I want that on the back of these. And then we're going to go with a, a black striping on it. So a very, very craw. This is a craw. Um, going for a craw. All right, that looks beautiful. All right, so this is what we got so far. Yellow, basically the one orange. So now we're just going to run that dark red. 
not along the back end of it. That's what we're going to see that. that. Dark red now is up on the back. We've got to dry these really good because we're going to use a stencil or the craw striking. So now, just really see how that yellow turns into the orange turns into that red That's exactly what I want <laughs> That's exactly what I want. So now, I'm going to rinse this out. We really don't have to do that good. I can go black. It's okay to have a little bit of red in there. But, okay, rinse it out. Okay, so now we got to dry these really, really well. You're going to hear that air dryer going a little bit. And then we need this template stencil. There we go. I think this is the right one. Yeah, I think that's the right one. Alright. For this size. We have different stencils for different sizes. You gotta dry it now because I don't want it messing up. Alright. So we're gonna use I think with this this one right here. I could use that one. Too big, I think. I think this is too big a stencil. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Where's some other one? Somewhere. I guess there's another one somewhere. about time I use it. So we're going to take my little this because we're going to lay it down there. And we're going to lay this on top for my black stripes. You got to dry it really good though. Oh, thank you, Robert. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I hope so, man. 20 hours, they say now. 20 more? This is much. Bye. Working on monetization. It says I'm 20 hours away. Just leave me playing in the background. Just leave me playing in the background. That'll help. <laughs> Open a tab. Just leave me playing. Mute me if you want. I don't care. We'll get it done. Alright, we gotta, we gotta dry these real good, so. I've done this real good. 
I don't want to scratch it. Especially with this sort of this uh, tequila sunrise look that we've got going on here. We call these my tequila sunrise cross. So we can call it tequila sunrise cross. Yeah, I think I'm, I don't use that one because of that. It connects all of them. Maybe that's why. You could probably just take that. Uh, let's see. This is going to be beautiful, huh? Beautiful, 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 beautiful. More for the auction. More for the auction. Auctions, auctions, auctions. We have to sell them more, start the bidding a little higher, I think. Sold uh, 35, I think, baits. So. I like to average about $10 each, so. I didn't do that, so. I mean, first auctions. You learn a lot, so. <laughs> Thanks, Robert. I appreciate you spending your break time here. Alright, I think. Yeah. I think we're good on dry. So we're going to. Uh, now add the black striping, which is always very exciting, by the way. So we're going to take this. We're going to put these down just like that. And we need them far enough apart so we don't get overspray on them. And get this. This is a pearl black, so... It has some metallics in it. How they do put a a uh, medium tip on here. So let's uh, really don't need a lot. Mix vigorously. Mix vigorously. So that's our bait. You know, this is your the, you know what's underneath everything. You know, when you paint, it's just, you're almost working backwards, you know. Uh, you know, one layer, another layer, another layer, top layers. You're just, and then in your mind, you're just visualizing it. There we go. And it's just, in the end, you always hope it's what, what was in your head. All right, let's see what we got here. Is this too small? I think this is too small. I got the other one. So measure these out a little bit. That's just too small. I think we're going to have to go with bigger. You see how it sort of pops there? It's really hard. So what we're going to do, take, where's my tape? Because I don't want it to pop up like that. And that that's why I probably never use the stencil because of that but maybe I never thought of this <laughs> we're going to tape it down we're not going to have that line up on top so now I'm going to tape that down and we're going to oh it didn't stain like There we go. I don't want that. This is going to have to come right down. Right like that, I think. 
Is that gonna work? Ah! You stupid tape. I'm barely taping the top so it keeps popping out. Alright, I think... I think that works. Oh, it popped again. <laughs> you stupid. Alright, well, let's put a little bit more on top there. People just don't realize how difficult some of this is. <laughs> and then they want to pay five bucks for my baits. And it's just doesn't Okay, I think I got it. I think I got it. I think I got it. Oh yeah, baby. <laughs> That's it. That's it. Hey, Connery. <laughs> okay, Robert. That's the first one. Let's see if we can duplicate that again. Stay, stay. Oh, it didn't stay. Dried that one. <laughs> good thing. All right. That looks pretty good. That looks pretty good. Try to make this look as smooth as possible. Uh, <laughs> we working it. All right. Okay, so there's that one. All right, next one. Hey, man, tape. Come on. There you go. Come on. Stand on there. It doesn't, though, does it? I need new tape on there, I think. I don't use this stencil. <laughs> it just fights me. There we go. <laughs> All right. that off because we're going to have to 
flip this over to the other side. So we're going to have to dry that. Dry the stencil. Because, you know, we're going to flip it over. So let's dry these sides before we flip them. And the other side. Looks pretty cool. It's a neat pattern. And we're going to go with a really deep, deep red to blend those, those black stripes. Back with the tinge of red. You'll see. Each bait is different. Every bait is unique. You can't do it the same every time. You just can't do it the same every single time. Looks good though. Yeah. We have to blend that back into those stripes, so we will. Gotta go. Dry, dry, dry. Dry, 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 dry. I want this to come off on it. Clean that up nicely. <laughs> Gotta, well, remember, we're going to be pulling black up onto that top, so. 
this what you do once in a while, Mike. I told you every bead is different. <laughs> every bead is unique. Blending the uh, stripes to the back. Okay. So, what do we got left in here? Perfect. Not much. black sort of fades into that red that I just did. Okay, uh, okay, let me just put this on here, almost, here's the last 
You guys watch the paint dry. <laughs> really is. So these, look at that. That's beautiful. It really is. It turned out real good. So where is that? There it is. Let them dry. Hang them up. Let them dry. Put eyes on them later. We'll do a big clear coating section with all these baits. 
Hopefully my clear coat will stay fluid. It's only good for about 20 minutes after I mix the epoxies. But we'll see. But I really love the way that came out. That's good looking. Pull that through the water at about six feet, and you got yourself a really hot looking bait. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. All right. Let's put you back. So now I'm going to do a jointed bait. Okay. It's going to be real plain because it works when it's real plain. We're just going to do a bone color, solid bone. <laughs> Stay there. White base, bone color. Simple as that. That's what we're doing. We're doing that bone. Clean this out because I didn't do that. Well, I had to run. Move the truck for my wife and my son. I'll do this bait and then I'll end the session. white base, bone color. And then we're going to put a false eye on it. Because, you know, false eyes are cool. Where's my white? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, it's tough getting old. Put stuff down, you don't even know where you put it. Until <laughs> you look right in front of you. It's sort of like finding your glasses on your head. <laughs> Alright, let's get that base mixed. Alright, that's uh paint a bait to catch a fisherman, yet when you paint a bait to catch a fish, the fisherman thinks, oh, that's just too simple. And uh, it's the simple ones that a lot of times will work. And we're just going to put a bone layer on this. Thoroughly, and here's my boom. It's a little build color he keeps running out of. Kind of shame too, it's a real good color, and you don't have to mix it. You don't have to thin it out. It's pretty thin as it sits. Try this. This works tacky. And then we're going to put a couple layers of bone, get it really to stand out. The bone. This is a. This is a awake bait, so subsurface and awake and 
to go all all in, you know, for your first layer. So you paint, you get that to dry and put another layer on it. And a bone is a, a vanilla. I guess would be a good color description for bone. It's a vanilla. Little bit of yellow on it, in it. Just enough to give it an off-white. And it's a very effective color in the water. Really effective. Especially top water. I find it it's very effective in top water. And James Deneau, he makes this color in Lure Build. It's always running out though. People keep buying it. This is a, a true custom color by him. And it's a very good color. I like his paint. I like his paints a lot. I mean, I have certain favorites of every brand. Createx, Turbo Dork, uh, and with Lure Build. So. There are certain brands that just kind of give me what I want. So, really nice. something more complicated than it has to be. Just gotta keep it to where it works. I mean, the whole point of buying a bait anyway is to catch a fish. I mean, sometimes you paint a bait to catch a fish. But in this case, in this case, it's to catch a fish. And a person may think that's just too simple. You know? Some people may think that's just a little too simple. It's all you gotta do. It's all you need to catch a fish, especially with this bait. This bait is just, yeah, you know, once you put the eye on it, you know, it'll give it some uh, personality, I guess, is what you're shooting for. Man, it's, it's a beautiful color. You guys have, can't really see it. But. And again, once you put the eye on it, clear coat on it. This, this 
this will work. That's all I have to tell you. It'll work. Water 70 degrees or better. You'll be pulling in biggins with this. You'll be pulling in biggins with this. So these are our two baits. And I really wanted the spawn one. So those are our two baits today. Um, I know one looks really cool and the other one looks boring. That looks boring. <laughs> okay. Because bone color baits catch fish. They just do. So, all right. Let me look at my hands. <sighs> Got a phone call with a buddy in a few in a little bit. <sighs> All right, there we go. All right, I want to thank you guys for supporting the channel. We're 20 hours away from monetization. I have, price, I have surprises for you. I think I've told you. Um, when we monetize. Um, and uh, I've been working on it. I don't know exactly how this all works in the end. But nonetheless, it keeps saying, right when I think I'm getting close and I get it, it goes away from me. So, um Keep watching. Keep me on in the background. Pick a long video. Just play it in the background. <laughs> That's all i got to say. I do that for other channels. There's one playing over there. Because, you know, it's nice. It's nice to do for other people. That is beautiful. I know it's just white. I know it's actually bone color. Not really white. And these guys, I mean, come on. That's sexy. These are sexy. That's sexy. That's uh, sexier. <laughs> to a fish. Perverts. <laughs> All right, guys. I'm going to log off, get ready for my bud, and. Huh, how do you do? How do you do this? How do you do this? Oh, my, oh, my mouse died. Gotta charge it up. <laughs> all right, all right, plug it in. Oh, look, it works. <laughs> you just gotta charge these lights every once in a while. Rock it out, rock it out, Joe. <laughs>